You're in luck today because right across the street from the awesome Casa Colonial Boutique Hotel is the tremendous Playa Dorado Golf Course nestled right up against the beaches of Puerto Plata. Let's take a walk over and view this beautiful golf course. All right, the Caribbean is right beside me. It's a beautiful day here in Puerto Plata, Playa Dorado, hole number seven, or siete as you say in Spanish. Back tees are playing about 175 yards, but with the wind coming off the ocean, my game isn't that smooth these days, so I've moved it up about a buck 50 to the flag back there. Again, wind is blowing in off the ocean, and you've really got to take that into account here, but I'm still going to try to throw it up high into the air, so let's see how it goes. That's a little left the way I wanted to keep it. And that wind really blew it short. That is absolutely amazing. As you can see the palm trees blowing in, the flags blowing up there. But it's a beautiful day to golf in paradise, so we'll take that. I've got my loudmouth glasses on now. Sun's coming down. With this wind, instead of trying to pitch it up with a pitching wedge, I'm going to do what, well, the Irish and the Scottish call the old bump and run. I've grabbed the nine iron, and we'll see what we can do from there. Roll up there, baby. Roll up there. I'll take that any day. Of course, my putting's off these days. All right, even though these greens are a little bit brown because, well, we're starting to get into early June here, they're still rolling really, really fast. So we'll see, I don't know, what do you think? Two inches outside, right, your left of the cup? That was horrible. <laughs> okay, so this is for my three. And that's a three. I don't even care if it was a seven, eight, or nine. I like to call it going John Daly. If you remember back to Pinehurst at the US Open in the day on a part three, John got an eight. With that view behind me, and we're in beautiful Puerto Plata, it's really about the experience, not the golf, but I'll take a three any day. All right, moving on. This is incredible. Hole number 12, par three. Well, this is why you've come to the tropics, the Dominican Republic. This tee box is actually right on La Playita, right on the, on the ocean. Beautiful, the wind is howling in. I have absolutely no choice here but do the infamous flop shot over those banana trees, over those palm trees, and the green is back over there. Let's see if I can pull this off. I think I'm at about 120 yards out from right here, but that wind is just gonna howl in. So I've got no choice but to push it out to the left and let the ball carry it into the green. Easier said than done. So what I'm really gonna have to do is, I've taken a nine and a pitching wedge, and I think if I do the old flop shot, you've got to open that face underneath and let the club do the work, baby. So that was the easy part. <laughs> All right, I can see the flag of 12 howling up there. Let's see how she goes. As Lee Trevino once told me, I don't know you, Randy.
I think we're going to be good with that, so we won't know until we get up there, but uh, bueno, senor? Aqui, aqui, come here, come here, come here, come here. It's my caddy for the day. Right. It's just beautiful, wasn't it? Muy bueno. Yeah. Thank you. Right. Como te llamas? Julio. Julio is great. He speaks a lot of English. Do, como se dice? Bonita, Dominican Republic. Beautiful, bonito. Total. Love the Dominican Republic. Love the Friendly Dominican. people, wonderful people. I love your country, man. All right. Let's go see where that ball ended up. I see what the ball. You did. Let's go. Let's go find it. Come on. Okay. Let's go. Beautiful day. It is roughly 92 degrees out here, and I don't mind at all because the Caribbean wind is blowing, the palm trees are dancing, and really and truly, this is where my ball ended up. So I played it over the trees behind me there. The wind smacked it down and I got really, really lucky. If it got bad, I could be over there in the desert. So, all right. These greens are still rolling nice and fast and hard, even though they're a little brownish. We might even say they're a little lynxy because we are beside the ocean. And as we know, children, lynx golf is real and pure when it's beside the ocean. So I'm going to go ahead and say this is a lynx course. Not bad, I'll take that any time. This is for three. Uno, dos. Oh, tres. Cool. Number 12, Playa Dorado. Awesome, hitting off the beach onto the green. I'll take it anytime, baby.